Hello, welcome to Covidious class. Please, if you are new in this class today, please subscribe and be part of this class. And those who have been watching my videos, thank you very much for your love and support. Please continue to watch my videos. Let's keep drawing and keep the world moving. Without drawing, there will be nothing on this planet Earth. In today's lesson, we are going to develop the surface of a truncated square pyramid. Our last lesson was uh, how to develop the surface of a square pyramid. And uh, today's lesson, we are going further. We are going to develop the surface of a truncated pyramid. So we have our truncated pyramid here. We have the truncated square pyramid. So this is what we are going to do today. Please, let's keep on drawing. Please share my videos with your mates and those who are, those who are doing um, technical courses and, and those who are doing geometry. This uh, channel is useful for those who are doing all these courses. Continue to watch and let's keep on drawing to keep the world moving. Without drawing, there will be nothing on this planet Earth. Yep. Now, we have our truncated pyramid here and we, we are considering um, the size of the square to be 45 millimeters, which is four and a half centimeters. So here we draw our square. First, we have to draw the plan of the pyramid. So we draw, we have the side of the square to be 45 millimeters. So now we draw then with your set square. your set square just extend this to this side as well good and the side of the square is 45 millimeters so you can also measure from here because it's a square base so you can just measure from here and you mark mark this then with your t square just draw like, like this then with your c square again you have this this so we have our plan and after drawing this then you number one two three and four then you, you join these lines from four to two you draw this then one to three we have this then with your t square move your t square up like this then join here then with your t square And your C square. You draw a line from the center. It's a faint line. That like is. And now we have the height of the 
pyramid to be 70 millimeters that is seven centimeters so you measure seven centimeters uh, you measure we have 70 millimeters you mark here then you draw these lines from this point and from here we have this then now from it, it says the distance from to get this is a truncated square pyramid so the distance from here to this end not this so we measure from this side from this lie it says from here to this side which is this side is 50 millimeters so you measure 50 millimeters 50 millimeters from here or you can also take it from here we have this side to be 50 that is the distance from here to this side is 50 then from here to here is 20 then you measure also your 20 millimeters your 20 millimeters from here you mark it like this then with your t square just move your t square up to here to the 20 like this then you mark here then you move forward or you move up like this to this side is 50 then you mark here good then you join this side and from here to here you draw a line like this so we have this you have the distance from here to here now, now at this point let's consider here to be point c that is the center now at point c open your compass to this point that is three but before that before that Like this then draw a line a faint line to this end then at point C which is the center open your compass to number three or point three to three then you draw an arc up to this line here good then with your set square oh you move your t square first move your t square to this side then extend this line like this then with your t square and your c square from here you draw a line up to this line because now we want the true length of the side of the pyramid so from here we consider here to be point 
D. So we are going to develop the surface. So now, at point D, you draw a line from point D to this end to get the true length to here, to this end. Now we have this. Then, you move your T square to this end then just draw a faint line up to here then here as well from here just draw a faint line up to here now after getting the true length of the side like this then we are going to draw the development of the surface so we can choose a point here like this a point here then you measure the distance from here to this end this end that is the true length of this side so with your compass at this point you draw an arc draw an arc like this then you join from here like this then you measure one side of the of the of the square like this then you mark one two three Four. Then you number one, two, three, four, and one. Then join these here. And the last, which is one, good, we have this, then, just measure the distance, you put your compass here, then you measure up to here, so up to the true length of the side that is this side like this so at this point you draw an arc then at the same point you open your compass oh let me stand this from here 
So here, okay, then at this point, you draw your arc like this. Now, we know this line, it goes here. This end, this line is one and two. So this is like one and two, it goes like this. See, this is like one and two. So this is the line, one and two. So you follow the line at this one, you mark it, make a point like this, this two. Then we have another one here. Then we move this is three and four, that is this line. Three and four. So we move like this, it goes up to here. This is three and four. This line is three and four. So now we this is three and this is this is one and two and this is three and four. So now at this point along this line we have three here and we have four. Now we are going to join these points. So we start from down here. We start from here. It's a square pyramid. So here, join here to three. We have here. And from here to here. So now from here, we are going to join these lines. We have these points from one and two like this. Then we have this to here then we have three and four then into this end so now we have this to be the development of the surface so we have the plan here we have the front view or the front revision and we have the development of the surface. Now, to complete the, the plan, with your T-square and your C-square, from this point, you draw a faint line. Then, from here, you draw another faint line. That is here you can use your t-square and your c-square to draw this and from here like this you just draw a line draw a line like this then from here, draw from lie, from this lie, from here to this lie, you draw a straight lie. And this is three and four. Then after drawing this, then you draw another lie from here. From here to here, and from here to here. Yeah. 
So when you look at the, the figure here from the top, then you will see this line, this street line here. You will first see this one, which is this, then this from here to here, which is here, then this line, which is here, then the last one. So this is uh, the plan. So you first draw your plan that is with the, with the side of the of the square which is uh, 45 millimeters that is 4.5 centimeters you draw your square then you number one two three four then from one to three you draw a line and two to four you draw a line extend these lines up to this and draw a straight line from the center then you get the height of the pyramid then at that point you join these lines to get your your front view then to get the the truncated uh the distance from here to this end was 50 it was 50 millimeters so with your t square at 50 then you mark here and from here it was 20 then you mark just join these lines then from c you open your compass to three then you draw an arc up to this line then with your t square and c square draw a straight line to this end and it helps you to get the the true length of the surface or the true length so with this side you measure this distance from d to this end make a point you draw an arc then you measure one side of the square to mark four then you number one two three four then one then after drawing these lines to this end, that is from here to here, and this also to this eye, from here you open your compass to here, you draw an arc, and from here to here you draw an arc. Then you follow this line is one and two, that is here, the first one here. So from one you mark, then two, then you mark, then you mark one. And here as well, this is three and four. And on the line three you mark then four then you join these lines and also here to get the development of the surface so now this is the truncated square pyramid we are going to open this and see if we are going to see similar thing like this here now let's open and see Now, yeah. Now look at it. You see, we have it here. We have here. This is um one and two, and you see this street line is from one to two. We have it here, and two to three. You see, from here two to three is also here, and you see this line. 3 4 that is 3 4 then another street line to 1 it's like look at it we have it here that is uh the development of the surface thank you very much for coming along please if you are new here please subscribe and be part of this class and my subscribers and those who have been watching my videos thank you very much for always coming along please subscribe to this channel help this chat and i appreciate it Thank you very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye. This is Kofi Dress Class. Bye.